Be bright tonight. Yeah. I'm early. Go me. I don't know why my cool thumbnail didn't work though. Is there anybody there? Oh, I've got a very bright face happening. Might turn off the light. Let's see if that's a bit more sultry. Kylie, hello. Hey, Bridget. I've just been pottering around the house speaking like Wandy. You love my box. I've got two boxes. I picked them up on Friday. So it's a bit excitement that they're still here two days later unopened. But I've been away. I went to a dark mofo event last night and um, I'm really hungover. And I thought, perfect. Little boxes will cheer things up. But we should all love our boxes, Bridget. We all should love our boxes. It's getting a bit chilly in my house. I might leave the heating off though. Every time I turn it on and then I go live, I get really menopausals. Well, I'm hungover, Kyle. Uh, I've already made dinner for in a little while and I thought, why not go live? And uh, oh, I just got a notification that I'm live. As if I didn't know that. How dare you poo the piss from Wandy? I can't help. I love the way Wandy talks, Wandy Mel Mel. But it's just funny because I was walking around going, I was going to go, hello, Groovers. <laughs> when I started my live, hi, Groovers. It's raining in Bris Vegas. It's pretty numb. Oh, it got down to five degrees last night and we were wandering the streets of Hobart. It was a bit fucking cold. Well, I was badly dressed. Like my mum used to say, no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. Um, but beautiful blue sky, sunshine. He went for a gorgeous walk on the beach before thinking that would fix my hangover and it just made me want to go to bed when I got back here. But I didn't. Team Wandy, absolutely. I'm all for Team Wandy. Although, Bridget, I don't think your efforts are going to get you back in the good books. Wandy... Wendy sounds like he's at the end of his tether with you. Who the fuck is Wendy? Well, Kylie, you have some exploring to do. Go to Mel Mel's channel and all will be revealed. Go to Mel Mel in here, click on her. Go to channel, go to a channel, sub and notify yourself and you'll never miss a second of Wendy and numerous other characters, personalities bigger than... Texas. Maddie Beth, hello with your little spying eyes. Oh, Mel, oh, sorry, Wandy. Wandy's taken over Mel Mel's channel, obviously, and is, uh, yeah, exactly, Bridget Who. Got a bit of mediating to do, maybe. Maybe we can mediate. I've got two boxes to open, Wandy. That might cheer you up. One is my favourite one. It's my quarterly retreat your would tweet yourself box um it's the one that well i thought choir we would know wandy you are working matty beth you're working in the background <laughs> sad for matty beth bridget oh okay i don't know if wandy's gonna buy that line bridget but we can see i guess but yes, yeah, so I've got my Retreat Yourself box, which is all Zen, Wandy. You might like to see that one. And then I thought we could end with this one. Finally arrived. Boxed pleasures. <laughs> I've got to stop talking like you, Wandy. Boxed pleasures. Remember this one from last time? And it was all um, lingerie and lacy wristbands and oh shit I'm gonna wear the it's actually a, a meant to be an eye mask but I'm gonna wear it like a little headband next week to this rave thing we went to last night we're going again on Friday and everyone was so dressed up and I felt very underdressed I had a really gorgeous 
like it was all in black with this really wicked necklace and some cherry uh, patent leather dock style boots on. But um, everyone got so dressed up, so dressed up. Show your box to Wandy. And then there's this one, which it's heavy. I love this one. It's always absolutely jam-packed with stuff. This is the Retreat Yourself one, which um, is seasonal. There's only four of them a year. I don't have many subscription boxes now. Like, even that sexy one, I've unsubscribed to that. Because it just, getting the boxes, it's like I've had two in six months. They're meant to be every two months. Um, one of them's gone missing. And then I cancelled my subscription and only this week I got an email from them asking me to choose a vibrator. And I'm like, well, I've actually unsubscribed to you fuckers, but if I was to choose one, I want that one. Last time it was bogus. Well, it was, yeah, it was all lingerie. I was expecting dildos and butt plugs and all sorts of things. And it was, it was just lingerie and stockings with the lion up the back, which I still haven't worn because I know as soon as I put them on, they're going to rip. You missed the last one, Maddie Beth, the sexy box. Hmm. But which one? Randy loves a heavy box. I think Randy loves a hairy box, to be honest. Sorry, Randy. The purple, the sexy one first and then end with the retreat. Everyone will stop watching if I do the sexy one first and then do the retreat yourself. Because the retreat yourself is a really beautiful one where they basically give you a day plan to spend the day at home and just like have a day spa at home and it's only every quarter and it's my favorite favorite one um i might have to take votes maddie beth wants to go straight to the dildos but i reckon once i've done the dildos no one will want to see the retreat yourself and that's the one i really want to see and i thought we could do that one fairly quickly and then end on a sexy note. Because it's still, I mean, the sun is starting to set now, but it's still daylight here. So it's a bit weird playing with sex toys. Not that I'm going to demonstrate them live in my finula, but I might try them against my cheek. I've got some batteries just in case. I'm not talking about Wendy anymore, Mel Mel. Oh, the, get the purple dildo. <laughs> Um, I actually chose, um, I don't know if I've still got the email. Let me have a look in here. But I mean, I've unsubscribed, so it, there's no point me even choosing anything because I ain't. Oh, now I've got to love your box. Send a starter box. Be the best friend ever. Okay. Um, love your box. Where's the dildo one? Deluxe pick. Here we go. Um, make my choice. Oh, it's closed, so I can't see it. But it was, um, there were like five or six of one sort of thing that just kind of looked like a little dildo with a little hook on the end, and they were in like six different colours. And then there was a row of these other little vibes that all had little things on the top. And because I'm a bit love heart obsessed, I chose the one with the love heart. But there were like little, I don't know, bunnies and <laughs> little spirals and just wrong stuff. But I've, I've unsubscribed, so it was pointless. I wasted their time. Although, what, watch me get charged for it because I chose a cheap-ass vibrator. Yeah, all right. Well, if we open the Retreat Yourself box, I'll see if there's a discount code in there and I'll whack it on the screen. Hi, Red Lotus. How are you? Good. I'm glad you've come over to say good day. Hi, ma'am. Mem with all of her emojis. You can't miss Mem when she arrives. Waiting for a wheelchair taxi to go out for dinner. Oh, how delightful. Well, I'm um, I'm doing two unboxings, Mem. I'm doing a Retreat Yourself box, which is a lovely quarterly one. And then I've got a sexy one. So you might need to watch this back later to see what comes in my boxed pleasures. 
Wandy wikes what he sees. Yes, I think there's a bit of love going on in my chat. Not going to discourage it. Love is beautiful. Love across the interwebs. All right, I'm going to open the Retreat Yourself one first. It's so heavy. I'm very excited. So ugh, I won't hold it up too high. It might all fall out, but it's packed with stuff. Packed with goodies of, of many varieties, hopefully. Thank you for all of your support and being part of the Retreat Yourself community. And then there's a really nice little letter. And it's addressed to me. Beautiful one. That's lovely. So I'll read that later. Yes, being there, you have caused a riot with Wandy. Oh, the face mask. Was that the one that made my face go pink? I've still got some clay in my fridge, actually. I might need to finish that or do another one of those. Maddie Beth, stay strong. Is this, is this a... So what Maddie Beth was crushing on Wandy, but Wandy's liking being there. Is that the triangle that's going on? Because we know that Maddie Beth wants a hot Aussie cock, basically. Oh, shit. How far are we in? 11 and a half minutes. We've said genitals. I already said Fanula, didn't I? So is that the triangle? Matty Beth is crushing on Wandy, but Wandy's crushing on being there. Matty Beth's got to go incognito. Okay, good work. I've got a magnet that says, close your eyes and feel those sunshiny vibes. And it's a fucking great big fridge magnet. It's kind of cool. To get us through the winter, I guess. Randy had a crush on Maddie Beth, then ran. Oh, so Randy, hmm, you're not really upset. Would it be lovely if you pop back in? Have a beautiful dinner, Mem. Let us know what you eated. So, yeah, fridge magnet, nice. Red Lotus, you're lost. Why is Red Lotus lost? With the love triangle and keeping up with it. Well, I was a bit lost too, but I think we've worked it out. Randy's a whore, basically. A man whore. He's just playing with the hearts of many. You'll be next, Red Lotus, so just watch yourself. So the instructions with this box is always discover the wonderful goodies, inspire yourself with the wellness. You get a really nice magazine with this one. Update, uh, sorry, use your retreat day plan to create a retreat at home, relax, refresh and renew, and then you yeah, hang around on the online community. So I'm probably going to do this, um, not next weekend, but the weekend after I'll be doing my retreat yourself because I've got house guests next weekend and the last weekend of Dark Mofo and friends coming in from Queensland. It's going to be big. Here's a player, Maddie Beth, but then... So are you. So, you know, that's why you were perfect for each other. But looks like someone's come along and cut your lunch. And Randy's not really opposing that by the sounds of it either. Right. So we peel away the tissue paper and you get a retreat plan for winter. Um, I won't look at it in too much detail, but it, it basically tells you how to plan a day and use all of the stuff in the box. It's really good fun because it makes you just take the day off and chill the fuck out. Um, and then there's a bit of a blurb about the Kindness Project, um, which is once you've opened your Retreat Yourself box and experienced all of the goodies. Yeah, so what they ask you to do is use the empty box and fill it up with... Um, it says some pre-loved blankets or clothing, unused food goodies, some old self-help books, trashy magazines, um, old kitties toys, things that will help women in a women's refuge, and then you bundle up your box full of stuff and, and pay it forward. Great idea, yeah? So that's the other part of Retreat Yourself that I really like. It's like, okay, you've had a box of goodies. Now fill it up with goodies and send it and they basically send it out to women's refuges. So you can put like, you know, skincare products and sanitary products and 
whatever. And I've got a whole heap of things I can bundle up and send. I could probably send about six boxes of stuff. So I might actually do that. Wandy's out. Feel free to keep talking. We won't, Mel, Mel. We're going on. Tell Wandy no. That's it. Unless they do in chat. I can't control that. But um, I want to see what's in my box. Why isn't that charging? Because it's not turned on. Here we go. That'd be cool if I ran out of battery. It's still not charging. That's a wow. That's a wowie. Sorry, Wandy. Okay, we've got an issue. My phone's going to cark it. Hmm. Actually, no, it won't. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. My computer's got this cool little thing that goes in the side that's got a little USB port and stuff in it. So I'm going to chuck... Chuck it in there. Technical issues. I'm blind as a bat. Oh, shit, I keep talking like Wandy. Sorry. Sorry. We tweet plan. I'm sure there'll be a face mask in here, Red Lotus, and I've got so many. Whenever friends visit now, we're just, um, yay, we're charging. Cool. Um... Whenever friends visit, it's like, let's do a face mask. And if we don't get a rental, it's like, take it home with you. That's very technical. All right, let's see what's in this box. And then I want to play with the other box. Well, this is heavy. Um, all natural three bean chunky soup. Chunky and smoky. I, I'm sure it'll be delightful. Heart and soul. It's a, it's a thing of soup. Three bean chunky soup. I'd probably jazz this up with some extra things um like bacon but um anyway soup so bear in mind this is a winter theme hence the oop so i'm sure that eating the soup will be part of the day plan this is the or oh, something's broken open and there's a bit of crusty stuff on this but um this is the retreat yourself wellness magazine which i really love that you get with it and it's got really cool recipes not just using the stuff in the box. There's a really cute little yoga workout that I actually did the last one and stretches and stuff. There's all kinds of um, different things. There's a guide on using essential oils because that's what I look like sitting at home on my couch sniffing my oils. I'm sure you all do too. Um, how to choose the right vegan mascara. Um, all kinds of stuff. How to do a, hand, a head, handstand. Shit. I'm almost tempted to go live and demonstrate that. So, yeah, really cool little magazine that you get with it. Um, and it's got lots of extra info about the stuff in the box. So that's cool. This it's wrapped in bubble wrap. True water. Considering I live in a place where water comes straight off the mountain and out of our taps, although I'm on tanks, so I don't get the mountain water. But I don't like bottled water. I don't like having to pay for water. But this is true water. Looks like it might have some flavour in it. True water. Feel good about taking a moment to refresh with true water. Pure spring water infused with real fruit extracts and a hint of bubbles. Oh, that's all right. So it's like a little mineral water. In a glass bottle. True water and it's a lime flavour. Wouldn't that be lovely with some vodka? It's really bad whenever at these boxes. It's all about holistic chilling out. And I'm like, oh, I can fancy up that soup and add a heap of bacon. Bump bow. Health people wouldn't be encouraging that. And now I'm saying let's chuck some vodka in my pure water. I don't think they're ever going to make me an influencer somehow. Vegan mascara, yeah, something's leaked in here. There's crap all over everything, but that's all right. We'll just have to do a bit of wipe. I'm, I've got a bit of, I'm a bit of a clean freak and I don't like crusty bits on stuff. Something's broken and it's crusty, but moving along, we've got a Bohemian Skin Gel Cleanser. Not really low on cleansers at the moment, but always happy to try a new one. 
and yeah, big full size tube of Bohemian Skin Gel Cleanser and it's organic. Uh, but the vegan mascara is essentially um, makeup that's not tested on animals. That's why they call it vegan because I kept thinking, oh, are there ingredients like that were derived from animals? I've got sandy, gritty shit everywhere. Um, I can't wait to see what it is that's leaked everywhere. Oh, it's this. It's this fucking thing. Mr. Something Noodles. Zen, Zen Garden. It's a packet of noodles and the top of it's ripped. See that? It's not fucking zen. They've made my box very unzen. And these will be going in the bin because fuck knows how long that's been open and spewing its crusty bits all over my box. <laughs> I've known a few men in my day who've spewed their crusty bits all over my box. Um, gross. So, and I'm not really, I don't really like cup noodles anyway, but um, disappointment because, yeah, they've, they've crapped all over everything else. But anyway, that's the offender right there. The Zen Garden Vegetables. Nothing Zen in my Lady Garden box. Thank you. Now I'm just going to clean everything. So, Bridget, have you de departed? Love you, Bridget. Is my box crusty? Very. Mel Mel, very crusty. Life is better in colour. Mini tan, but not on my hands. Touch me. Ooh. Feel me, love me. It's got touch me, feel me, love me, and there's a little hole there that you can touch it and feel it and love it. I don't think any crusty bits are in there. Oh, there might be a few, actually. This is a, a bronze-on applicator mitt, an applicator for self-tan. I'm wondering if we get self-tan in the box as well. Life is better in colour. I'm getting the very winter pails happening here. Um, what's this? Fit cover the face of fitness lash mass kit. Collagen mascara and a green tea fibre wand. It's a two-piece set. Has anyone ever used anything like this? A lash mass kit. Mer <laughs> this is a Merkin. <laughs> it's a very soft one. I did love it. I did touch it. I did feel it and I kind of love it. So this is some sort of, there's a, it's got a two-piece set. So there's a mascara and a fibre wand. It's rather, and it's infused with collagen and green tea fibres. It's a rather fancy looking, impressive box just for some mascara. But... Only last night when I was putting on my mascara, I was thinking I'm almost due for some new mascara. So happy days. Happy, happy days with this one. Send the Merkin to me. Well, I haven't seen your um, pink hair yet, Mel Mel. So, oh, well, I saw it when I said you look like Wilma Flintstone and Pinky Toscadero. But I haven't seen it, like, rinsed and out or anything. The curve matches the blinds. Well, if there's a fake tanny in here, I'm going to use them to apply that and then I'll send it to you. <laughs> secondhand Merkin. Ooh, yuck. Imagine that. I bet you can buy secondhand Merkins in parts of the world. Now we've got a white chalk raspberry. Damn it, I saw white chalk and nearly lost my shit. Yum. Raspberry um, beauty bite. A little snacky thing of me. But you all know how I feel about raspberry. I take a bite and then I'm like, yeah. Love a fresh raspberry. Can't go past a fresh raspberry. But raspberries in food always I find really acidic and unpleasant. So bugger. But I'll, I'll stick to my little day plan and some of this stuff will get used. There's another one. Oh, now we're talking. I've got another beauty bite. This is my flavours. Lemon coconut. Happy days. All right, so they have sent me a flavour that I will enjoy. This one, not so fast. This one, birdie nom nom. 
Dad, one of the family boss. And it's Father's Day in America too. I know you're not Bridget, but um, everyone was saying Happy Father's Day or doing Happy Father. Like all my American friends have got Happy Father's Day messages or Dear Dad, I hope you're having fun in heaven messages. Which freaks me out because it's not Father's Day here. But our Mother's Days are in sync. All right, next out of the box, we've got some lime and black pepper faba beans from the Human Bean Co. Don't mind a little snacky bean. Happy to give them a crack. But I'll have to wait and see what all of this is like when I do my Retreat Yourself Day. I don't want to eat anything now in case it's sort of crucial for the Retreat Yourself Day. Oh, and we've got some um, sea salt and vinegar hump faba beans. These, are, these will go in my lunch boxes. You, all go, you guys all know about my little bento lunch box. This sort of stuff's great for that. I love it. I get to work and I open up and it's like, oh, I've got all these little treats to try. Yeah, hit the thumbs up, please. I need to be viral. What, what do you have to do to be viral? Do you have to be like, do you have to pop up in the list of trending now or something? I'll never be trending I've got a captive audience of eight. Eight people are going to witness me unboxing a dildo. Seriously, I'm going to start putting Chris Watts in every fucking thing I do and watch them come running or analyse. Like the only times I've ever had like close to 100 people in a live has been Chris Watts or talking about analyzer. That's it. There's some more fava beans. These ones are just lightly salted. And it is fava too, not fava. See that? F-A-B-A, fava beans. You love the idea. I only couldn't believe that it wasn't over here and thought it was weird. I know they don't they don't they don't cope with the rest of the world not being the same as them. It's hilarious. Yeah, the box is great and I love you. I love actually trying to do the day plan. It starts at seven in the morning and they get you doing all kinds of stuff, but it's really lovely. It's nice just to block that day out in your diary and just phones off, no YouTube, nothing. The more thumbs up you get, it goes on to people's suggestions. I have to see my doctor and get antibiotics. For what, man? Oh, for a secondhand Merkin? <laughs> well, I've got four thumbs up. So four people that are watching haven't given me a thumb up. Um, what do I have to do? You almost feel like you've got to go naked or something to get thumbs up. Oh, I've got a bottle of perfume or something. Bow, starshine. Eau de parfum. Bay, vegan perfume. Bay, and this flavour is starshine. Vegan perfume. florally oh, gee, those of you that watched my unboxing and I got that little um, oh it's very florally I don't mind it it's a bit like it's a bit like the perfume I normally wear which is Marc Jacobs Daisy it's more florally but I actually don't mind it quite a good little size for me when I travel because the bottle of Daisy I got you know is a big chunker I mean, it's quite florally, but hopefully it will settle as the day goes on. Bay Starshine Vegan Fragrance. <coughs> no, it's a bit much. Mm. We do, Bridget. It's really hard because I thought I'll go like I'll go now, I'll live now because it's Saturday night in America, but. And then if I go live, you know, I could have gone live yesterday morning with the sexy box. And it's like broad daylight first thing in the morning here. Just didn't feel right. But, yeah, we do struggle. We need an Australian version of YouTube. But mind you, I'm, I'm actually, I've been a bit of a fuckwit. I haven't even promoted my YouTube channel yet in my child-free group. I really need to do that. 
I need to go live on my child free group and get them all to jump over and sub because it's a community of 10,000 people, you know, like I've got this community I've built for the last decade and I haven't even told them about it. I haven't told my family and friends yet either. So, but I've, I've got a channel that I'm developing and I don't know if I'm going to just wait till I do that or if I just get them all to come hither and then when my new channel launches, get them all to go onto that one. I don't know. I'm just enjoying experimenting with it and stuff. But yeah, if you don't promote it, and I don't, um, I've watched tutorials and I've got notes on how to make your channel grow and I've done none of it. <laughs> like, you know, make sure you tweet that you're about to go live and make sure you put it on Facebook and I haven't done that. But I need to start doing that too, just posting the links. In fact, let's do an experiment. I'm going to put on my Facebook page... Um, and join oh um, I'm live on YouTube about to unbox a sex toy subscription box called what's it called box pleasure I'm hoping it will cure my hangover Or at least give you some laughs. Come hither. I'm just curious to see if anyone from my Facebook. So, all right, so I've done that. That's one thing you meant to do is flog the crap out of your channel on your own social media. Oh my God, you should see the thumbnail they've used. I'm like this. Um, that's great. Thanks for that, YouTube. That's really lovely. <laughs> they couldn't have chosen a weirder fucking thumbnail if they tried. I'm seriously like... <laughs> huh. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Have an Aussie-a-thon or live stream. Why not, Bridget Parker? Like, we'll just do... We just need to round up every Australian YouTuber we come across and just do like a 24-hour back-to-back, just Aussies, just each getting an hour and going nuts. I think we'll need to have, you know, the whole Zoom phone-in or Google Hangouts phone-in thing happening and get people calling in and chatting just to keep it going. But, yeah, that'd be cool. Please don't get naked. Thanks, Kylie. Thanks for your vote of confidence. Yeah, it's not in our blood to promote, self-promote. But, you know, that's one of the things I've found with watching a lot of American YouTubers is how, I've got to be honest, the ones that I watch the most, and they're not necessarily people I think are fantastic or I like to the extent that, you know, I'd want to be friends with them or anything like that, but the ones who actually engage with their subs, to me, are the best YouTubers. Um, but there's a shitload of them who... It's very much about them most of the time. And, yeah, I like the ones that acknowledge their subs, whether they've got, you know, 10 subs watching or 200 watching or 600 watching. I think the difference for for watching is the ones that are not so invested in themselves but actually interested in their subs. And that's not that common in the American channels, but in the Australian ones... Even with a small group, you look at what's going on in chat and everyone always knows that someone's got a wonky knee or someone's kid's about to start school or there's always chatter, you know, everyone's sort of getting, um, catching up with each other in chat. And I think that's really lovely. I think being able to create a platform where people can come in and hang out and do that. I mean, I think it's, I know when my friend Julie died and I was trying to sort of talk about my feelings about that and I got really distracted by chat and they weren't really listening to me. It was, I don't know, they were just chatting about what colour undies they were wearing or something like that. And I remember at the time thinking, that's kind of hard because, you know, if you want to pour your heart out on YouTube, you pretty much need to do it without looking at chat because um, it kind of just distracted me and I was like, shit, they don't actually give a shit about the grief I'm going through. But, you know, those that sort of those days, now that I'm a bit more comfortable with YouTube, I'm not overly fussed by that. I'd just hide chat if I really wanted to talk about something and get something off my chest. But, 
Yeah, I think the difference is the Americans, a lot of the channels, it's so much about them and they really only acknowledge chat if they get super chats or, you know, donations through one of the many links they've got, you know, through Streamlabs or PayPal or whatever it is they've got. And I just stop listening to them, even if their content is okay. I'm not really into people that don't seem to give a flying fuck about the people who are supporting them. Yeah, the I see what you're saying, Bridget. I know what you're saying about people who push the promoting. And that's the thing, because I feel stupid even going like and subscribe. I guess that is the reality of why people have got mods, because they can do that. Because I don't know about you, Mel Mel, but I don't really think I've ever seen you say like and subscribe, unless we're being dicks, when we go like and subscribe. I mean, I used to do that because that was, um, do you remember, bless Anna Eliza, do you remember back in her heyday, she sort of had her fall from grace and she'd still be going live and she'd go, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> and she had hundreds of people watching her because they were all horrified about the whole cancer thing. And in the middle of it, she'd be like, thumbs up. I was like, fuck. I think you're going to get a few thumbs down, lady. But, you know, um, they, they're very they're much more comfortable in that sort of self-promotion side of things. We're definitely not good at that. But my number of um, people watching my lives and stuff has dropped significantly. Um because I'm not doing anything really new or exciting. I mean, there's only so many unboxings you can watch and I've got heaps of ideas and things I want to do. I just want my bosses to stop coming to Tassie. I've got one flying in tomorrow, another one. Um, and for the next eight weeks or so, there'll be a shitload of them flying in and out. So I just need some evenings during the week to get some shit sorted out. But I do have those, sci I've still got two science experiments to do. I'm looking forward to doing those. Kylie's back. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? Il Defonso Saucy. Well, hello. <laughs> you did tell me it's been quiet in general, but that was like two weeks ago, Mama. I thought it might have, you know, livened up again. Oh, my God. I've got a new toy to show you, too. Not out of the box, but you'll be proud of me in a minute. Um... Glad to hear you're good, Mel Mel. Um, I mean, Kelsey um, and Mel Mel, it's always good to hear you're good. Il Defonso Saucy, <laughs> what bringeth you to my channel? Do you Are you familiar with Il Defonso, Mel Mel? Is this a friend of yours? <coughs> the perfume's making my breathing issues flare up a bit. Still quite, I don't like a perfume you can smell like. 10 minutes after you put it on. Let's finish this little box. I've got more gritty things to sort through. Veda Organics Blemish Relief. Cold pressed Tamanu oil and cold pressed virgin jojoba oil. Oh, the blemish relief. It's got a lot of crusty bits on it. Hang on. Wendy quacked the shits and stormed out of his wife and then came over here and stormed out of my wife too, Kelsey. 3.26am, holy shit. Um, apply one to two drops around to blemish. Some This might be like for pimple blemishes. Oh, we've got more bubble wrap. But I can't get off. Oh, we're almost at the end of my box. This hasn't been my favourite retreat yourself box, I've got to say. There's usually like some funky sort of reusable product, you know, like a keep cup or a, or reusable straws or just something funky. So this is just this little thing of blemish relief. Probably sorts out your... Your pimples, I and mean, I've got marks here from when we got really badly burned in Fiji, but I don't think that'll fix it. Nothing else has, so. Hi, Renee Scott. 
Poor Wendy. You're calling Wendy a wanker. Kelsey. Jesus, Wendy's already fucked off, man. You're not helping at all. How have you been, Renee? What are you up to? I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, this might be workout. Oh, Mel Mel. Told you something would be coming for me to use with my mitts. Actually, this is quite a good box now that I'm looking at all the shit on the table. Um, workout ready fitness tan. Why is it a fitness tan? There's one express tan and there's a bronzage express. Mine tan. And it's vegan and healthy. I don't know why it's called workout ready. You know, like, can't you just put it on and just lie around the couch all day? It's like the only people who need a tan. So that goes with this. We've got the tanning kit. And you know what? Fuck it. To beat the winter blues, I'm prepared to do this. And not live, but do it. And we can see whether I end up looking like an Oompa Loompa or not. You told Renee to come over. Thanks, Bridge. Renee was one of the first people I met in the YouTube world. Oh, there's more of these faba beans, and these this flavour is Pizza Supreme. I'm quite keen to try some of these. I might keep the Pizza Supreme ones out, and because surely we don't have to eat all of them on the retreat yourself day. And I might, I might need a snack while I'm unboxing the sexy box. 3.30, Renee. Way, up, way too late. The crazy caregiver. But it's Saturday for you, so you're all right. Whereas I've got a boss flying in on the morrow and, you know. Sinus clear blend. Oh, this is an essential oil for, clear, for clearing your sinuses. If you've got a bit of sinus issues. So that goes in my lovely little diffuser. Always happy to get, oh, we've, we've lost focus. I'm always happy to get um, essential oils. So this one from Echo Aroma Sinus Clear Blend. And I think that's about it. There's a bit of, there's a fair bit of noodle in the bottom of the box. Um... There's a competition. There's the thing with all the selected products that you get that runs through all of them and how much they all cost. You always get way more dollar value like in your box than what you pay for it. Um, oh, the other mind tan, you know, I was saying why do you have to be um, off to the gym? The other flavour was coconut. But it's a cruelty-free fake tan. I would have preferred the coconut because I'm a bit like that. But so that, so we've got that. We're going to be doing a bit of tanning. I've got a nice little um, sinus clearing essential oil for my diffuser. I've got the get rid of the pimples on your bum cream, I think. Or the blemish relief. I've got a shitload of these little... Snack packs of Faber beans, and I'm going to keep out the pizza flavored ones for unboxing the sex toys in a moment. Kylie, you've got an all year round tan. Is that because you're already naturally brown? I can't remember. I know Old Mar Frase is half indigenous. I love my diffuser, Kylie. I love it. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't put it on when I came home. I've got a blend for hangovers and it works. It makes you feel like you're in a day spa. It's gorgeous. Um, what else did I get? I've got the little vegan free perfume, which I can still smell. It's mellowing now. I don't actually mind it, but it's a bit floral, a bit over, more floral than normal, but... I've got the True Water Sparkling Mineral Water. We're going to chuck vodka in that on our Retreat Yourself Day. There's the big bag of three bean soup. The Lash Kit with the mascara and wandy thing and thingamy ding. 
No, I don't know why they're called far F A B A Faba. So maybe they're different to Faba. But see down there, it's got F A B A Faba beans. I always thought it was Faba. You know, in Silence of the Lambs, didn't didn't they have Faba beans? Let's see what Faba beans are. Faba. And she says to me, "Do you mean Faba?" Fav well, yeah, kind of, but it's just a broad bean. It's a broad bean grown in the southern regions of Australia. Now grown in the north as well. Faba bean from Pulse Australia. It's a large seeded broad bean. And then if I type in fava beans. Fava beans are also a fam from the family of broad bean. Okay, so faba, also known in the culinary sense as the broad bean, fava bean or faba bean. They're all the same. Fucking broad beans. Glad we sorted that out. Got these two little snickety snackers. Oh, you got a black fella tan. Nice. You lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Beautiful skin. You get the little magazine. I didn't see a discount code anywhere, but if I find one, I'll put it in my comments. I've got the gel cleanser. And I've got the Retreat Yourself Day Plan. The plan, the welcome, the nice little thank you card, the fridge magnet. And let's not forget, last but not least, the noodles that leaked and made my box crusty. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. I think there's some fun in there. I'm looking forward to seeing how to use their day plan and what they've got lined up. Um, but, yeah, not my favourite one so far, but not a bad one. I think I'm almost tempted to get the single swag one from America again because they had a little bit of everything in it and I found that quite fun, even though the jewellery was always a bit wrong. There's a lot of love going on, which is great. You've got a ghost tan, the incognito tan. All right, so with eight people watching, let's open up the sexy box. Do we need some sexy music? I think we might. Let's do this. YouTube. See, no one from my Facebook page has come over, as far as I can tell. Um, music. No, not that music. Royalty free. Oh, the perfume, the perfume. We need sexy That's true, Bridget. They are. And, and the last time I got the sexy box, I was like, oh, it's just all lingerie. So I'm hoping we can have some fun. But it's so tricky because, I mean, this, this unboxing is hilarious, I think, the sex toy one. And I was like, oh, this will be, I'll get, you know, shitloads of people watching this. This will be so funny. And you just don't. And I'm not going over to Live to do sex toy unboxing. Things. I'm not going over to let Day Live full stop. I had heaps of um, Lino that I'd bought and I ended up giving the whole lot to a couple of stoners and a chick who was playing some really cool tunes. Just went in and dumped all my Lino and then logged out of Day Live and yeah, that was it. Gave them all my lemons and all my ice creams. <coughs> I think this perfumes going to irritate me but we'll see bright music dark music i think dark music for opening up a sex toy box might be the way to go but yeah you try to come up with ideas and stuff and it's sort of i've got a podcast too that i'm working on i've got a shit going on but um what am i doing 
Let's go to Russia. Not sure about the perfume. I might eat one of these. My Yui booms on. I had Wandy full bore in my living womb just before, and I hadn't turned my Yui boom off. Scheming Weasel. That could be a good one to listen to. I'll go to Scheming Weasel. Scheming Weasel. One of my friend's name's Liesl, so we'll call her Weasel. I have to send her this scheming weasel music. This is exactly like the music that was playing at the rave last night. This is yummy. Anyone who loves pizza shapes, you know, from the barbecue shape range, whatever the shape range, These fava beans, or fava beans, or broad beans with the pizza, they taste exactly like them. They're really nice. But they taste bean, like, well, not, they don't taste beany, but you know it's a bean, not a biscuit. I'll show you one of them. Looks like a little pellet of gold. Into my mouth hole. Delicious. All right, before I get down to zero people watching. I think that's so cute that the bunnies get their own subscription box. I've tried a few different ones. I would really like, I think I will get the single swag one again. I don't, I want to do a full year of retreat. So I think I subscribe for a full year. So I've got one more box from them. Um, but let's see what... This is not good music to be unboxing to Hall of the Mountain King. Let's just jump over to the next one. Let's go to this one, it sounds weird. Um, but this one I've already unsubscribed to. Hi Kerry, just in time to see me open a box of potentially vibrators. Box pleasures. Mezzanine. What does that mean? Even that guy that came into troll before, the saucy person didn't hang around. Mezzanine. What does that mean? Because it's kind of creepy music for something that could come out of my box. Actually, this music is good for some of the creepy things that have gone into my box. I'm sure everyone can relate. It's bringing back some bad memories. Anyway. Oh, the Hall of the Mountain King. I, I skipped it, man. I skipped it. When you catch up, you'll be like, oh, fuck, she skipped it. Hmm. I'm liking the pizza flavour. They taste just like pizza shapes. Yummy. Mmm. For a healthy little snack, these are good. Okay. Probably not good to shove food in your face right before you're going to talk and open the box. Give me a moment. I still have no idea what mezzanine means, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what a mezzanine is. All right. 
let's do this because I'm hungover and I want to eat my dinner and watch another episode. I'm totally into What If on Netflix. Is anyone watching that? Renee Zellweger. I'm loving it. Loving it. It's got so many subplots and I'm going to watch an episode of that. I'll eat my dinner and then get a fairly early night because I've got my big boss flying in in the morning and a day of training with him and he wants to go out to dinner tomorrow night. I'm like, can we not? It's Monday night, it's cold, it's winter. I don't go out to dinner on a Monday night usually. I'm not planning on doing it. I mean, there's some cool things we could go and do, but he wanted me to rally clients and all the clients were like, it's Monday night, fuck off. All right, so let's see what's in the box. As always, mysterious tissue paper underneath the ingredients of the Boxed Pleasures box. Here we go, Groovers. I'm a bit scared. This box scares me. This is why the subscription was fun, but they're just the most unreliable subscription box people ever. Oh, I've got a face mask. And it's for my face, not my lady. From Garnier, Hydro Bomb Tissue Mask. Love them. I love them. I love getting face masks. I never was really into them like big time. I used to use um, cream ones all the time because I used to get free tubes of that when I used to buy makeup. Like, well, the makeup that I buy, you often get a gift with purchase, and they used to have like, they still do have face masks. But these, I love traveling with them. Um, and I take at least two with me when I go away. And it's just nice to actually go, fuck it, I've got 15 minutes. I'm whacking it on. Hi, Elle Taylor. You don't come into my lives much anymore. How nice to see you. Very dramatic music. But this is the box pleasures. And that's the first thing we got. I mean, this is kind of like what you'd expect out of my Retreat Yourself box. A face mask. What else have we got? I don't think this box is going to have a vibrator in it, guys. I think this is like a wellness box. I've just got a three-pack of Twinings infused teas, blueberry, apple, and black currant. I mean, nothing says let's get it on than let's make a cuppa and chuck on a face mask. This subscription box is weird. I got an email from them asking me to choose what vibrator I wanted and they've sent me a face mask and tea bags. You're doing your lunches, Mel Mel, good girl. Well, so far the sexy box, I don't know about you guys, but this is reminding me of Retreat Yourself or goodness me, like one of the healthy sort of boxes I get. Let's see what else is in here. I mean, it's scary putting my hand in and not knowing what might pop out. But so far, I've got another fucking face mask from Glow Lab, a brightening face mask. Are you shitting me? So now it's like, hey, come over, dolls. I'm putting on the kettle. I'm going to make you an apple tea. And we're both going to lie on the couch and do face masks. Are you turned on? Are you turned on, Elrod? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's how we're spending the night, baby cakes. You and I. Cups of tea and face masks. Get on over here with your boner, mate. I know you turned on. Maybe the tea makes you horny. I don't know. What are the flavours? It's um, There's a blueberry. There's three. You get three of them, by the way. Oh, they, they, these are cold water. So these you put in like your water bottle. So it's not a hot cup of tea. These are ones that you drop the... Oh, fuck it. I can try it now. Let's try one now. I've got a bottle of water here because it says drop the infuser in your bottle. Let's get this fucker out of the box. <laughs> they want you to teabag yourself. You feel a scam coming on, Bridget. 
these are this is like what I you know when if you've seen me do my goodness me box and I used to get another box called beautifully well and even retreat yourself so far they this box is as pure as the driven snow all right which flavor oh they're all the same so it's a combo of blueberry apple and black currant all right so I've got three three sachets And this is what the infuser looks like. Oh, very fruity. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind some fruit teas. Not a huge fan. Mmm, it's got overtones of apple and black currant and blueberry. Um, anyway. Hi, Jeffrey. I know you turned on. Glad to have you over here. Now watch me do this, motherfucker. Jeffrey's my lover. I thought Elrod was a silly name. And then um, the little fucker's now in the bottle. Drop it in. Leave it for three to five minutes. Watch the infuser transform your water. So everyone, looky now, looky now. And we'll, we'll watch it transform my water. Do I have to fucking sit here and hold it for three to five minutes? Probably. And then we give it a whopping good shake. And we drink it. You can see some colours coming out. It's going to make the water go pink. How fucking sexy is that? Yeah, Jeffrey. Glad you swiped right on Tinder, mate. It's tea and face masks around here, babes. Hope you don't go. Because I unscribe. Oh, because I unsubscribe, they sent me shit. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Humping the cam. Well, it is just like all of them, Bridget. Look, it's menstruating now in the bottom of my water bottle. They said three to five minutes. Where are we now? Fuck, I've been on for an hour. So we're an hour and two at the moment. Um, I'll open the, I'll see what the next thing is in the box of romance, sex and good times. And we'll come back and check this out at five past. But look, people, it's transforming the water. It's bleeding into it. What else is in this box? This feels like another face mask. I swear to God, it is. Are you shitting me? Another fucking face mask. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's become a threesome. Elrod, Jeffrey and Tori are going to get it on. We're going to put face masks on and drink the menstruating tea drop thing. It's just making the water go a sickly shade of pink at the moment. I think there's another fucking face mask. Well, it's turned into a foursome. We've got... Don't get me wrong, I'm loving this shit. I'm going to love using, I'm not sure about this shit, the menstruating tea bag, but face masks, did I not just tell you how much I love them? Hi Space Monster 61. Um, I'm meant to be unboxing a box on the outside. I don't want to look in it to see if, <coughs> shit, hang on. Boxed Pleasures. This is the Love Your Box. Maybe I got Love Your Box all wrong. Maybe the, the the one that I saw when I looked on that website was Sex Toys and it's been nothing like it since. Although I did get the email asking me to choose what vibrator I wanted after I unsubscribed. But um, it's I thought it was a sex toy box. I thought it was going to be hilarious. The last one I did, I got all this sexy lingerie and wrist ties and... Other weird shit, I can't even remember now. And this one, I was expecting there to be sex toys this time around. And so far, we've got four face masks. Count them. 
four fuckers and three menstruating tea bags which transform your water it goes from looking like water to looking like someone's had their period in your drink bottle I was thinking we were going to get ready for a sexy night in people and instead five past let's try this so that it said what did it say three to three to five minutes so yeah it's transformed the water to a shade of pink i mean i, I suppose with dark mofo on in tassie at the moment where everything's gone red this is kind of cool but period water and face masks off. hi megan's birdie g'day fuckers you can't be sexy without clear skin. That's the rule, Bridget. I thought you would know that. Put your gear on, then do the samples. Oh, the gear they sent me last time. I did think about wearing the lingerie because it was so wrong. Um, but it's cold tonight and I've been away for the weekend. I've got to hide. My house isn't warm enough to sit here in a diaphanous negligee. Well, it tastes like fruit water. Can't fault it. It's not an artificial flavour and you know that I'm not a fan of the fruits and this is actually quite refreshing, I have to say. It's yummy. Predominantly apple flavoured, even though it's menstrual coloured. Red apple, I guess. This is actually really nice. Can't fold it, but it's not the vibrator I was expecting, right? Um, this would be very nice in summer with lots of ice and some fresh lemon and some mint or something in it. It's yummy. I mean, to be honest, if this sort of stuff makes people drink water, more water, then I'm all for it. I just wasn't expecting it in my sexy box. Look, she's starting to glow. <laughs> I'm just bummed. I was hoping for sexy time, you know, but no. I'll come off it. Right, so I get on the phone to my lover, Jeffrey, and well, actually my ex-boyfriend, Elrod, and say, come over, babes. We're going to do face masks and drink some menstrual tea, right? And he's like, fuck, don't keep what can keep me away from you. I'm on my way, gorgeous. And then, lo and behold, Jeffrey uh, joined. So it became a menage a trois of face masks. Still coming over, because you know, that's how I seduce men. It's come to my house, let's have tea and face masks. Hi, Saver Robbie. Back to courgettes, you're right, Megan's birdie. Why I try and order. Saver Robbie, this is my sex toy box, and so far I've got four fucking face masks. Um, these tea infusions, three of them that make water turn to like menstrual fluid. And so far it's like, come over babes, let's do face masks and drink tea. It's got, it has, it is a foursome now, but I was thinking there might be a, di you know, a dildo, a vibrator, something sexy. Cause I think this is meant to be the sexy box. And now I have received, uh, Mel Mel, this is coming to you by the way, cause there's no way in hell I'll ever wear this. I'm not even going to take it off it's wrapping um hello really ugly eye mask uh so thanks lads thanks for coming over and doing the face masks and drinking my menstrual fluid now i'm going to bed josh b should be here yeah look at see robbie's doing the modding thing see those likes Good work, Robbie. It's on eight now. Work it, Robbie. Um, yeah, so we can chuck on a floral face mask that my grandmother would have thought was a nice Christmas present. Unfortunately, all my elderly relatives have left this mortal coil, so I don't, I don't get the pleasure of passing things like this onto them. Worst box ever. <laughs> There's nothing sexy about a dildo. I think you're wrong, Space Monster. That's something fucking sexier than this. Let's have a debate. What is sexier? This, 
a bottle of menstrual fluid or a dildo. I know what wins. I know what wins. This is getting redder, guys. It is actually really tasty. No, there's more There's more shit to come, Mel Mel. I'm just dragging it out for dramatic effect. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Bridget doesn't even have words for the disappointment. Queen Ant. Yeah, Robbie, you and your ants. I hope you um, know that while I haven't been able to... I don't know if you've been live for a while, but um, it is my favourite reality show, You and the Ants. I love it. You need to do one with ant music playing under underneath and not get a strike. Get at, get Adam and the Ants doing ant music live and then the licensee will just say, we've got the licence for that song. And all it means is if they want to monetize off it, they can put ads at the start and the end of your video. But, yeah. Whatever. Oh, I prefer the real thing too, uh, Space Monster. But I I ordered this subscription box because I thought it'd be funny. I thought how hilarious to like spend 30, 40 bucks, whatever it is, every couple of months and get some really crappy plastic sex toys. It'd be hilarious. And the last one was just all lingerie. And this one so far is some kind of retreat yourself. But let's not give up. There might be something at the end. There is something... I'm going to leave it to the end. <laughs> Obviously, they just put some little little trinkets in for you to maybe to use after you've experienced what is in the box. I'm keeping it till the end. A box full of crabs. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, I'm st <laughs> Okay, yes, yep. Um, I'm just going to, I'm bringing these out because I think there's a reason these are in the box. I think this is for Cle Cuda Monthly. <laughs> I think, um, I think this is for in the box to use later on, if you know what I'm saying. Cucumber, oh no, they're facial, well yeah, facial wipes. Maybe this is so you, this is to clean your face before you use the face mask. So it's not let's not go, go straight to the gutter just yet. But they, I'm, I'm amused the flavour is cucumber. There's a recurring theme. Um, but yeah, we've got some Swispers. But okay, I'm blushing already. I don't know what to open next. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this. I don't know what's in it, but I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Better be that fucking dildo. Well, that fucking dildo was an email I got after I've unsubscribed. <laughs> I'm f I think I know what this is and I'm horrified. I don't even know if I can open it. I'm that embarrassed. <laughs> um, the subscription. So you, you go onto these websites and you subscribe and you can just try it for a month if you like. You get discounts the more months you subscribe and you can cancel at any time. And then they just send you shit like every month or every two months or every quarter, like the one I opened just before. Um, but this little guy, I found it and I thought, oh, this is going to be hilarious. And the first one was just, it was a pain in the bum in so many, well, speaking of pains in the bum, I think I know what's in here. Um, <laughs> but um, they've given me all of the, a box full of crabs, yes. They've given me little frilly things on top to cover. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe that's why they put all these, these face masks and tea bags and stuff on the top in case someone opens it up at customs and they're like, oh, it's just a day spa kit. The, the blowjob box, exactly, exactly. Um, and then you... Yeah, so anyway, the first box they used a courier company. It was a pain in the bum. I wasn't home. I left a card out. The card blew away. They came back. The card wasn't there. Then I had to go and pick it up. And then, then they called and said, no, we'll drop it off. And then when it arrived, it was just full of lingerie that I didn't want. Um, and then I'd already paid for this box, so I unsubscribed because I was like, oh, it's, you know, probably not going to be that cool. Um 
the black pouch holds a utensil, an item. It's already got its own little condom on it. Do we know what this is, people? I don't even want to take it out of the bag. <laughs> but I'm going to. What did Kelsey say? The blowjob. Oh, honey, we've moved on from blowjobs. Although, this is this is certainly... Um, you can certainly utilise this whilst giving a blowjob for extra pleasure. Who knows what this is? Who knows? A door stopper. Well, yes, you're correct. It is a door stopper. A butt plug. <laughs> a butt plug. Ew! Kelsey. What did, yeah, we were all complaining before when it was menstrual blood tea and face mask, and now they've delivered the goods and you're all grossing out. It's not going to get used, it might. Mel Mel, this will be coming in your box. <laughs> Maybe more than a mushroom. She's, what's that? A shitsky, a shitsky mushroom. I shall hold it against my pale white skin for more effect. It's delightful. I um, I bought something from adultshop.com when they first came out there online. It's like, oh, cool, you can order a vibrator online, bring it on. And they sent um, a mystery box as well. And the, there was a butt plug in it that was so fucking, it was like a mountain. It was huge. And I actually sent it back to them. I was like, I can't. I don't want this in my house. I don't want to die unexpectedly and my brother or sister to be sorting through my belongings and come across it. I couldn't wait to get the thing out of my home. <laughs> this little guy, it'll be in Western Australia before we know it. It's a baby butt plug. Well, how do you know that, Mel Kelsey? This doesn't look like a baby to me. But it's, it is a baby compared to the one I got. I have to hold it in front of my face so that you can all see it. It's wrong. We're putting it away. It's going back in its little... Send it to Lynette. Yeah, she'd probably love it. Oh, my God. And here's the thing. I forgot. I forgot. Butt plugs often have a jewel. On the end of them. Don't ask me how I know that. I know it because I watch porn. Look, girls. Look, girls and guys. Melmel, -Mel, does that match your hair? Is this meant to be for you, dolls? Look at it. It's a gem. It's treasure. Treasure for your pleasure. So, yeah, you can stick that up your date and go to work with that little diamante. You likey? It smells a bit, it doesn't smell like a bum, don't worry. But it smells a bit weird, a bit rubbery. Now I feel dirty having done that. <laughs> Wait, that's fancy Send it. Isn't it fancy? Sparkly butt plug. So now I'm going to demonstrate like, <laughs> curious how you use this? I'm gonna to have to put an 18 plus rating on this, aren't I, Mel Mel? This video. Hopefully, ah, oh, D90, how you doing? You've walked straight in on me fondling a butt plug. That's awesome, that's awesome. Good to have you here. I see Bridget thinks it's pretty. Pretty treasure. You think that's pretty, wait till you see the next thing. Is this some sort of tickler? <laughs> I, I can't honestly say I've ever owned this before or anything quite like it. Is this just for tick tickling genitals with or what's the deal with this? Is this like a little cock fluffer upper? This is a little penile. Please, please explain. See, if, as a child, if I'd seen something like this, I would have thought it was a gonk. It's molting. 
It's purple, my least favourite colour. I think there are things raining. Uh, what is this? I mean, it does feel quite nice on the cheek, I have to say. But is this just like a little um, Jeffrey's knob sort of thing? Is this what this is? Tell me. Tell me, people. What is this? Is it a menopausal fan? <laughs> What's the music in the background? Oh, they did send lube, Kelsey. I'm saving that for last. I don't think I've ever seen anyone sniff a butt plug live before either, Mel Mel. I'm glad I got to do that. A fancy pen. <laughs> Nut, it's just a little handle with a, a fancy pen. I know the music's a bit much. Let's turn it off. It always loses its shit. I chose some dark music and it just went weird. Tickle your ass with a feather? Really, old Taylor, I've trust you to know what to do with it. I mean, it is, you know, I can imagine doing it on a guy's doodle. He'd quite like it and around his testicular region, but still, it's molting. Look, look, molting. This purple... Oh, shit, this could be a keyboard cleaner to wipe away all the shit that falls off. It's actually doing a really good job cleaning my keyboard. It's getting right in the little, you know, the grooves in between the keys. <laughs> I would never produce this and tickle my lover's nuts with it ever in a million years. For starters, it's purple, and I do have a problem with the colour purple. I know a lot of people love it. Don't get upset if you love it. That's your personal choice. For me, not a favourite colour. But as a keyboard duster, it's got potential. At least to remove all the shit that's molted off it all over my keyboard. But still, it's purple. And if anyone found this in my house, it'd be like, hmm, tour. It looks like a creature out of um, the Muppets. <laughs> like not animal, but like a manamana. Do, 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 do. Menomena, do 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 do. Menomena, do 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 Josh would know. Elmir Dizdarevich. Do I smoke? Well, actually, not anymore. I am now a vapor. I can make my lives sound like I'm sucking on a bong. I've been vaping and I don't mind it. But the cough that I've got is twofold. I stayed with my best friends last night and they've got two dogs that I'm really allergic to, which fucks up my breathing. And I also got perfume in a different box that I can still smell and it's irritating my throat. But thank you for asking, Elmir. What about you? Are you into butt plugs? Because I can send you one. A tickler. A ball tickler. I didn't see the comment that got retracted, which is a shame. Josh is sleeping. Do you want to go wake him up with the little tickle, tickle, tickle? I think I'm allergic to this too, actually. Hang on, I need some more period tea. Robbie's left. If, if anyone was going to be able to explain that thing that just came out of that pouch, I think Robbie would have been a big help. I bet you're all clenching right now. Well, let's get on to the last item. Items. So we do get, not a very big sample, I must say, but a little packet of wet stuff, water-based lubricant, which personally, I think if Elmi is still around, you know, I'll send both of those to you, the little butt plug, just in case you missed it before, Elmir, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen the movie Tickle, no. Is, is, is Robbie live? Is 
Two live. Robbie's got up against me and my butt plug. It's all right. Oh, no, you went live three hours ago. Here, Elmia, your very own diamond. On the end of a butt plug. Yay! And look. Lube to go with it. Aren't you lucky? I don't know where Elmo's go Elmi has gone. Oh, I know he goes from live to live spreading his love. I'm just saying, though, it's unfortunate he didn't hang around because if anyone could help us with this little thing. Oh, I, I don't know what's wrong. The perfume is irritating me. This, as refreshing as it sort of is, it's also making my throat tickle. The, I think I've got one of those purple feathers stuck in the back of my throat. The perfume's not right. It's all going terribly wrong. What was that noise again? Oh, that was my phone. Um, hang on. I forgot to turn notifications off. Sounds like a gunshot. Oh. Okay, it looks like we're unstuck. Buffering. Hopefully, yes. I mean, well, it's my um, messenger notifications, but I've just discovered if you turn off messenger notifications while you're live, it switches off Streamlabs. So, yeah. Yeah. In future, I'll turn it off. But it's, um, I've just done an update on my phone and it's meant to be like a firework going off, but it sounds like a gunshot. Oh, yeah, it's good now. I had to re restart me live. Do you have Firecracker as well, Space Monster? See, I was chatting to a friend of mine on Messenger the other day and I was getting notifications and when she replayed a voice track, it sounded like gunshots. I mean, I quite like it because it's really quiet, but obviously when I'm live, it's noticeable and probably annoying. Yeah, I figured that much, Mel Mel, the mysterious noise. I didn't realise I was getting notified. There's so many things to remember, isn't there, when you go live? It's like, turn off your notifications, mute your laptop, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to end with this toy that came in my box. It is the Aphrodisia. Big finger vibe. It's got 10 modes of vibration. Gunshots. Don't pick your noise. Noise. Why not? What? When? <laughs> well, when I got stuff in my nose and I had to do that to get it out, or when I put my butt plug up there earlier. It's not a lot of things you can do when you go live. You kind of have to do shit to your face because there's not much else you can do. We all know what Tori is doing tonight. What, road testing this little monkey? They sent a vibrator. They delivered. It's the big finger vibe. Now, I don't, I've never gone out with a guy with a finger this big. Um... 10 mode vibration. <coughs> I'm seriously, that perfume is irritating the... Oh, wait a minute. They sent four sachets of lube. Four. That's optimistic. So basically it's... um. If you want to have a cup of tea and a nice lie down, you can do that with your face mask and your eye masks. Or alternatively, get out your butt plug, your tickler, your lube, and this dude, the big finger vibe. Anyone got this model? Oh, it's quite a convenient travel size, but unfortunately, it's my favourite colour again. Purple. Mmm. 
Now luckily, I've thought about this earlier. Oh, what's in there? I can't get that out. There's a, I need tweezers. <laughs> There's a, um, you know all these things about, yeah, I'm not using them. Jesus, it, it's more for the, well, it was meant to be for, you know, my live channel, a bit of hilarity. I'm very fussy about things I put in my fanula and other parts of my body, but um, I don't think this will work unless I can get that out. But hang on, let's try. Let's try. There's rolled up paper that ended up in the tube, and I don't know if it's meant to stay in there or not. I suspect it's not. I mean, if this only takes one battery, uh, not those batteries, okay. And are these too small? Well, maybe not. Oh, little batteries. That worked last time I had to unfocus. I don't think it's going to work with this paper in it, which won't really how to put your vibrator back together 101 no fucking idea oh here we go no they must be upside down <laughs> i like how my camera's totally out of focus it's like don't make me watch this it's awful i'm so sorry phone come on focus there we go. Is it dishwasher washer proof? Oh, there's not much that came with it at all in terms of, um, I mean, there was either a pink or a purple model. Um, it's made in China. Care instructions. Wash it after each use with liquid antibacterial soap and water. Pat dry. And it's sold as an adult novelty. No, it's not dish, it's not dishwasher proof, doll. Soz. Can't whack it in your dishwasher. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Box got good, Megan Birdie. Sure did. This perfume, I'm so bad. My I just react really badly to it anything like it's an organic perfume and it's fucking with me anywho can't where's that arrow point to to go in here we go right so this little magic wand straight from harry potter children if any children are watching right now this is a little wand from harry, the harry potter shop in london Um, the vape, I got it from a shop in Adelaide called Vaporama. Um, and I'm really loving it. Because the thing I liked about smoking when I've tried to quit in the past is like go cold turkey. I tried patches once, but like for three days and had really crazy dreams. This was back before you took, took them off at night. Um, but I realised it's the whole hand to mouth it's the whole hand to mouth motion and the inhaling and exhaling. Um, yes, yeah, so I went to Vaporama and I love it, but it did just that little clunky thing that just made a bang. That was it that just fell on the floor. So I'm hoping it's hasn't perished, but I really like it. Here we go. Let's crank this bitch up. No, it's still not going to work. And you know why? It's because of the paper in there that I can't get out. Hang on, I'll be back. I need to get some tweezers. <laughs> I need to put my pants up too. Okay. But yeah, Mel, Mel, I'm finding it, the vaping thing's really cool. Okay, I got it out. We have extracted 
the secret message, which just tells you what sort of batteries to need. It's just a little battery thing. There's nothing exciting, unfortunately. Now I can't remember which way I have them in. We'll try this way. Oh, I've, I really want to go outside. The perfume is making me wheezy. <laughs> you... <laughs> yeah, well, you can get the vape. I mean, I, my startup kit, once I got everything, the vape, the... I bought two different flavoured gelatin things. I bought an extra coil because apparently you replace the coils every couple of weeks and there was one extra coil with it. And I think that was all I got. But it was just over 100 bucks, I think. But Oh, gee, whoa, she's powerful. I think we might have started at party, party speed. So, anywho, um, the magic wand children. So, power button is there. This vibrates like a bitch. This, this setting is... Okay, it's, it's pretty much a... Um, there's no, it's, not, it's not rotating. I don't think this is going to have any sort of... Oh, Christ. I thought that last one was party speed. It's very, um, vibe, it's very vibey. It's vibrating like a bitch in my hands. It's tickling my fingers at the moment. Oh, stop it. Stop it. All the tickling. All this purple shit. All right, let's see. Christ, here we go. This is when you walk past your sister's bedroom and think she's got a drone. Far out. That's speed number three. It can't, surely it can't get faster than this. Sounds like a bee on its last flight before it dies. Oh, oh. Oh, this is the one that you um, froth milk for your cappuccino, I think. That sounds like a dying goat. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that's loud. It sounds like it would burn. It's kind of burning my hand, actually, the friction. That's a bad one. Here we go. We'll try that. Oh, it sounds like a little lamb. Meh. Try the next one. Techno, techno, techno. Ooh, ooh. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> this is the one we call the jackhammer. Far out its answer what? Answer it. Hello? <laughs> Anybody? Oh, like a, I like how the little red light flashes on your skin. So anyone that's watching you play with this, it's like, whoop, 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 lighting up your fanula in the dark. Ground control to Major Tom. Tom, you might need car oil. You're not kidding. I've got to swap hands. Oh, I knew China would excel at sex toys. <laughs> oh, this one's, it's like, I'm going to call this one the creeper. Have a listen to this one. It starts off as like It's like the agitated weasel or something. Here we go. Who's counting? What are we up to? Hi, Nika. You wouldn't want to be epileptic. This would make you epileptic in a heartbeat. Nick, you've walked in on, um, I've just finished unboxing two subscription boxes and 
we finally hit gold, although it's a bloody purple dildo. But other than that, um, this has got quite a variety of things going on. Hello, Mum. Mum. <laughs> Sprinkler. <laughs> Perfect mel mel. <laughs> the sprinkler looks very educational. Oh, look, it is. It's the most educational video you'll see on YouTube today. Moving along. This is what we call learner driver. You know, they're just cruising along and they're like, Meow. Yeah. This is the pulse. People that live 30... Jesus Christ, that was a creeper. She did this for ages, this bitch. It's coming. Oh, see that? You know that game where you give um, electric shocks and you sit there and it goes around the table, it goes beep, 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 beep. And you don't know who's going to get in there to go zip and zap somebody. This is a vibrated mode that's got an element of suspense. Because you'd have this in your twat and it'd be doing that little ee, 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 and you don't know when it's suddenly going to go. Ee. And I've got to tell you, like, it's vibrating that my hands, it, it's, they're getting, I'm getting pins and needles from it. It's, it's got a fair bit of, it's packing a bit of punch. Let's just say, I thought, you know, when I got one of these, I'd just try it on my cheek. I reckon it'll drill a hole in my cheek if I stick this on my face. Let's move on. I think that might be it. I think we might be back to the original little buzzy. The second level of buzzy. The third level of buzzy. So there you have it. My fingers are numb. The big finger vibe. Giving you the finger since 2019. What can I say? Um, kind of wish I hadn't put that perfume on. Um, not really sure why you get a subscription box with something as filthy as this. Well, actually, let's not, let's not beat around the bush. Pun intended. I'm not sure why a subscription box sends you something like this and at the same time throw this in for good measure. You know, in this hand, it's Slutterama and in this hand, it's Great Aunt Betty. You know what I'm saying? Never the twain should meet. Never. Um, there's face masks. There's face wipes. There's... Tea, the colour of menstrual blood. It's a very confusing box. Um, very confusing box. But I have to say, this little thing has rendered my hand completely numb. Um, not sure if that's sort of what you're after when this is, you know, up your clacker. Uh, but if that's what you're after, I can't recommend the big finger wanger more passionately this little guy mel mel keep an eye on your mail and uh i forgot to mention the little miniature feather duster to clean my keyboard very thoughtful of them very thoughtful of them so there you have it uh my hand is now completely useless and i'm left-handed so i've really fucked up there um any questions Oh, Robbie's back. 
hit the lights for the big pink. I think. Well, I think mine's actually purple. I'm hoping maybe when I put the light on, it might be. Purple. Maybe this is the pink model. That looks kind of purple to me. I mean, it looks pink on the screen, but it's the handle is pretty purple to me. But you know, is this like a? Can you maybe? I mean, you'd probably fuck up the switch device, wouldn't you? Wandy would be into the butt plug. Nobody's finger. Sh oh, I was just handing. I was about to start doing this. I was seriously was about to start doing that. Okay. Um, I don't know why that motion seemed natural. I've never done anything like that in my life. Dirty numb hand. Dirty numb hand. Yes. Yeah, so look, it could pack a punch. Um, it probably is, as someone rightly pointed out, you know, a returned sample. Um, maybe that is the purple. Maybe this is the pink. Maybe this is the pink. Oh, I think you're right, Robbie. I think I did get the pink. Pinky Toscadero. Mel Mel, there's a lot of pink happening around the world tonight. Um, so they did deliver. Um, I kind of wish they hadn't had delivered this. Um... But, you know, but horses for courses. And, yeah, why the fuck they thought this belonged in there is another question entirely. Um, see a space monster. Um, you see no colour. Well, this is it, Robbie. And um, I'm, there are certainly levels of vibration that have me slightly intrigued. I'm probably bolshy and feral enough to do a review of it not live right now but I might I might ask a friend to try it out if you know what I'm saying and uh, give you some feedback but um, other than that the retreat yourself box not a bad one not my favorite giving it 14 out of 10 would have been a 15 but it lost a point for the noodles jizzing all over the box and for the pleasure box, um, I'm very confused. I'm, I'm confused about it. I, I, um, I'm confused, especially, you know, this. Um, anyway, I'd, I'd give it it's probably an 11 out of 10. Um, it's definitely an improvement on the last one. It did have naughty pleasures tucked in the bottom, but burying it under all the face masks and this thing and the the tea bag infuser and the the wipes, you know, the cucumber, the cucumber. There's a theme here, cucumber, the cucumber swispers. I don't know. I'm confused. I feel sullied and unusual and I want my dinner. And an episode of What If, I think, is what I need. No, it's not a used vibrator. That was just a joke. <laughs> I hope it's not. Don't worry. If I do test it out or if I let my friend test it out, I will make sure that it is drowned in bleach or some sort of, you know, hardcore cleansing product that won't lead to any inflammation in the nether regions once used. Um... Time for everyone to leave. Get some Adam and Eve sponsorship and review. I'd love to. How do I do that, Bridget? 11 out of 10. <coughs> Honestly, that um, perfume, if the fragrance, if I couldn't still smell it now, I'd love it. But it, I can still stink it. I've got to have a shower and not a cold one. That, that sexy box didn't really turn me on, but it might, you know, behind closed doors. Education today. So on that note, um, I'm going to look into Adam and Eve and see how to review their sex toys. I don't think anyone will ever ask me to review anything because I'm never going to take it seriously, unfortunately. I keep, so I keep putting my perfumed hand near my face and then it's like, it's making my histamine flare up, my histamine issue. I bet you do, Robbie. 
I feel dirty too. This life is really quite filthy. And that's just the people in chat. So on that note, good night, one and all. Uh, sweet dreams. Please don't worry about the butt plug. It's going straight into a little box I'm sending over to Mel Mel. And um, I guess I'll see you around on the YouTubes once this boss of mine has arrived and fucked off. I'll be back. I'm going to take you all to Dark Path as part of Dark Mofo on Wednesday night. Um, Winter Feast, you'll be catching an eyeful of that as well. So there's a few things happening. Hit the like button on your way out if you haven't already. Or the subscribe. It's been great seeing all of you guys. I'm sorry you all feel dirty. No, I'm not. You're all dirty fuckers and you know it.